All right, it's July 6th, and no, it's July 5th, day after 4th of July, and I'm doing the trip to Malta with Alice. Now, Alice may or may not be seen that much because she doesn't like being filmed, so I got to figure out how to do these shots. There you go, with me in the corner and her in the background. There you go, look at that. Anyway, why Malta? Uh, 40th anniversary, so for 30th anniversary. I'll get these numbers right here in a minute. Anyway, 30th anniversary, 20th anniversary, I took her to France. 30th anniversary, I didn't want to buy her something cheesy like a necklace because uh, it doesn't last. So decided to take her someplace, but it had to be a short place because we were planning long vacations like to Germany or something like that, but a short one, like a week or less. So I said, pick a place. So what she did was she gave me a list of names and we pretty much just threw a dart at it and we ended up with Malta. So we're going to Malta for our 30th wedding anniversary for a week. And there you go, Sam. Right now we're in Raleigh and we're gonna stop at the tropical paradise of Newark next. Okay. This was an adventure and a half. We went from New York. First off, we're in Newark. Plane broke down. Then uh, we had to wait two hours to get a plane. Now, it means we're probably gonna miss our flight to Malta. So we land. For some reason, the guy flying the plane is stuck it in the overdrive. And so we landed pretty damn fast. He cut corners, I guess. So we get here and I literally left Alice, left her and sprinted. And I didn't, couldn't sprint to the next thing. I had to go and take a train, I had to go downstairs, had a moving sidewalk, yelling at people, get out of the way, get out of the way. Yelling in German, sound like, you know, a terrorist. But anyway, finally get here, reserve a spot. Holy cow. We got like 10 minutes left before the plane takes off. And here, let me do it so you don't see her. Alice is actually here, look at that. So I didn't abandon her, but that's so we can move quickly and save a spot in line. She caught up. So now we're on our way to Malta. Currently we're in Switzerland, Zurich. This is day two in Malta. Uh, I'm with Alice here, I gotta figure out how to hide her. There she is, oh, hiding her. Anyway, uh, the first day we were tired. Gotta figure we had been flying for, it feels like 24 hours. It was close to 24 hours. We also flew back in time. Last night we went out, had pretty decent dinner at an Italian restaurant. And uh, man, it was a, uh, it was tired <laughs> came back laid down i passed out and then finally woke up like 12 hours later with the sun is shining so it's morning now today we decided to start our little adventure at valletta and valletta is the capital and i'm going to span around right now this is fort saint elmo and it's at the very tip of valletta and i figure when we go through this door it's going to be breathtaking but this is one of the many forts that started around the time of the Crusades and continued through World War II. And here we go. This is Fort Valletta, or Fort St. Elmo. And here is the port. Mm. 
Now over here you see the remains of a pylon. That was a uh, the bridge got blown up by the Germans in World War II because the Germans pretty much blew up this whole damn place. They just bombed the crap out of it to the point that it was like an unsinkable aircraft carrier. And at the end of the war, uh, the King of England awarded the entire nation the Cross of St. George, and it was a uh, it's in their flag now. All right, this is one of the gun emplacements. This gun emplacement right here, uh, I was kind of amazed at the size of the gun. It was an 80 pounder, which uh, I can't even imagine what the hell an 80 pounder looks like. But this is one of the gun emplacements. You got your two lighthouses. You got one over there, you got one over there. Uh, over there, some sort of, it looks like the government building. The language of Malta is English, but almost everybody, it seems is a heavy Italian accent and most they're mainly speaking italian and but they know a little english too this might be those 80 pounders i don't know but they are freaking huge i'm here i put myself in the picture for some sort of get an idea they're huge toward the end of the war museum which is pretty interesting because it tells the history of malta from the crusades when they were laid at siege with the turks and uh, all the way to World War II, here's some inside of the, the fort here. What's good about this is, you know, Malta's not exactly a chilly place. It's really warm. But when you get about halfway through this tour, and it's a pretty long tour. We've been here for a couple of hours, I think. When you get halfway through the tour, you get into the museum, it's all air conditioned, so you kind of cool off. And it's this combination of old school museum and modern technology where they have uh, interactive films and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. At noon, an air raid siren just went off. And way over there, you can see a little cloud in the sky. And an air burst went off. I guess that's to remind everybody about the history of Malta being bombarded the crap out of the Germans. I'm in one of the towers right now. Alice decided to stay down. It was too far up. But you can see. Oh, there it goes again. Look at that. Here's a side view of saying on what you can see some of the World War One and Two fixtures there. And this would have been one of the big gun positions uh, aiming out over the harbor. Alright, we're on Merchant Street. We left the uh, fort and we're hanging out here to find a uh, a place to you now a place to eat maybe do some shopping and on the map i told alice it was all downhill yeah <laughs> so yeah here we are downhill uh and here's a church we had a what's the name of our what's the name of our uber driver sammy, sammy from pakistani and uh, he said there's like 350 churches so i said what church is that he goes i don't know there's 350 churches in town how am i supposed to know them all so let me keep climbing uphill, or downhill. All right, we stopped for lunch at a, a Greek restaurant. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat at a different place that conquered Malta at one time. And so far we've done uh, Italian and we've done Greek. So now we're doing Greek food. I got a kebab and Alice got, mm, I guess, chicken kebab. Souvlaki. Souvlaki. And Alice is happy, I'm focusing on your face, because there's a breeze here. And we're kind of on top of the hill. All right, shopping. Going for souvenirs. And uh, it's a jewelry shop. And Alice has discovered jewelry here. <laughs> We're on a, we decided to stop for some uh, jello, gelateria, uh, kind of ice cream. And this, this is our gelato. Here's our view. You can see the uh, 
the, the bay down there, the harbor. And I, I'm zooming over to Alice. Can't see who she is. And here we are. I'm about to run out of battery on this. Thank you. 